Sufficient for some, not all. Come on, the great is somebody. Amen, amen. No, but we're we're definitely a lot earlier uh, this week. But we're just really excited that you're here tuning in with us. We have some awesome stuff that we're going to talk about tonight, and we're really excited that you get to um, share this evening with us. And we appreciate you coming on and spending time with us. Share, share, share. Um, share. I know that you might be like, blessed with it, but there might be other people also post. blessed from watching. So. Host, what is it? Host the watch party. The watch. Y'all know how to do the watch parties. I don't. Yes. I don't. I'm re- <laughs> look. I'm recently back on Facebook. She is new to she Facebook. She like a whole grandma. I am. I really <laughs> she like, be like, what does the Facebook say? No. I <laughs> know. Your, your new in- name is officially Mima. <laughs> <laughs> What did the Instagram say, baby? No, I, yeah, the Instagram. I did say that recently. I was like, what is the Instagram? I feel so old. I mean, it's only been, what, like four years that I've been off Facebook? Just four. Just That's four. I'm like, just four. Just four. That's but heavy. again, we're really excited that you're here tonight. What up, y'all? What's going on? What's woo, woo. Listen, let's introduce ourselves. Let's woo, woo. Woo. Yes, yes, yes. 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 yes, so listen. Oh let's get, let's, let's, let's get the You're the hype, man. Listen, let's that. get the introduction. Come on, man, servant. Listen, we on episode two of Light Talk. It's Light Talk, but we going to get heavy up in here like we okay. always do. We okay. might keep it light. We might keep it heavy, but either way, we going to be a light, right? Amen. I am one of your hosts, Matthew Cooley, a.k.a. Mr. Squirrely. Yeah. Listen, yeah. a.k.a. Squirrely. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> She got whole sound effects and everything for me. We gonna need that. We gonna need it. We gonna need a squirrely. Oh my god! Listen, if you don't know why they call me squirrely. Go check out the first episode. You gotta get it sick. AKA Prophet Ologies. They, they give you all type of nicknames. That's what I was waiting for. Yo, my friend is super squirrely. Yeah, to the left of me, who we got? Yo, it's your boy Christian, also known as the Man Servant. To my left, we got who? Kalia. Yes. Lee Lee. AKA Lee Lee. Me ma z, me ma z. I don't like this nickname. I like it. I like it. It got a ring to it. Me ma. Then we got another guest in the background. We did. Keep it. Keep. How you <laughs> do it? This is only our second episode. How you we do started it? something new, so we got a live studio audience. Hey. 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 Listen, make some noise, hey. audience. Make some noise. Oh. <laughs> we got a live audience. Hey. What did you call it? Key to Key? Key to Key. Key to Key. How you do it? Key to Key. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. We appreciate the McDonald's. Kitty, don't do that. Listen, this camera's all over, beloved. You don't know if you might someone might spin on you. So, huh? Look, right now, I'm just saying. You might, you might be on camera. Listen, you look beautiful. You She's do. so pretty, y'all. You do. We'll you bless do. you with her presence next time. So, how was your week, y'all? How was everybody's week? My week was listen, yo. My God, come on, <laughs> somebody. Listen. Listen, Can we listen. talk about the glory? Yes. Yes. Can we? We allowed to talk about that on this show? Listen, it's Ooh, called the man. light talk. Listen, yeah, that's what the well, this is. is the part where we about to get heavy. Come on, let's go ahead and The way play. the presence of the Lord was on Sunday. Sunday. Look, yeah, no, man. you got to go back. Saturday. So Saturday. Sh- We've been in glory all week. All week. All, all weekend. All mm-hmm. week. So what Listen, you if you y'all, y'all don't, don't know... Listen. Y'all are missing out on some life-changing experiences. Yeah. I told yeah. y'all before, 
you gotta follow school of life. Mm-hmm. You have to do it. If Amen. you don't, you're going to miss out on some world teams and experiences. That's Amen. all I'm going to tell you. Amen. So, Amen. It's as simple as that. I, I agree. I mean, it was, it was, um, Saturday we had, uh, evangelism. Yeah, right? that was really yeah. cool. Power evangelism training and shout out to, um, Chris Thomas and, um, uh, everyone, you know, everybody that came up with him from, from Maryland. We're really grateful that you came and blessed us. Yes. Um, at School of Light Church, and it was it was awesome. We learned a lot of stuff about how to be effective at evangelizing, and we talked about evangelizing last week. Oh, right? Yeah, Did yeah, everybody yeah. remember the definitions that we gave for evangelism? They may not be. You might have to break it down one more. Well, time. I know that I said that evangelism is really like being a people person. Yes. yes okay. Yes. And and spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. And what is that good news, Matthew? The good news is that Jesus came, he died for your sins, and minds, so we can be set free. In his name, you better oh, be, you be your own organ. <laughs> <laughs> you better be the organ, right? right? You want you can do the organ key to Keats. Oh, She's like, why are y'all still talking to me? <laughs> but amen, yeah, Saturday and Sunday was powerful. Like just like Z said, we had it was a training and like activation. So mm-hmm. it's like there are some people who are moving in evangelism, meaning there are people per people people's peoples. Yeah. They go out um and just talk to people, talk to people about Christ. Sometimes it could be a different conversation that leads to opening to talk about Christ. Like yeah. God always moving and opening doors. Mm-hmm. So then we had an activation yes. for people who just wanted to be activated and stir up that gift of evangelism. And when I tell you some stuff went down in that building, listen, the stuff y'all see on the movies, it went down. Like I'm talking about limbs was growing back. Okay. <laughs> people was giving their life to Christ. And it was just such an awesome time. It was like so free. And it was powerful. The whole weekend was powerful. Okay? Yeah. Amen. And I know I'm not the only one who experienced it. And, I, and I'm really grateful because I feel like that weekend, it really rekindled the love that I have for evangelism. That's I know that up. sometimes it, it can get really crazy in our, our day to day. We go to work. We go, we got the kids. We got yeah. homework. We got all this stuff. And, right, right. Um, you know, and, I, and evangelism was something that's really passionate to me because I'm, I'm not really a people person. <laughs> what? what? No, I'm just kidding. Me? Me? What? Me? I'm not a people person. No, no, I mean, I just... We live, so we can't scratch out lies, right? Right. (laughs) right, But no, for real, like, I just, I I just love, I love people, I love y'all, and I love God, and I love sharing all the good stuff that he's done um, for me and who he is, and sometimes the the chaos in the world, um, amen, you know, sometimes just in the busyness of the world, you can lose the things that you're passionate about, and I feel like that weekend, it really, I was telling, um... Brother Mo, um, shout out Brother Mo if you're watching. Um, you know that it really rekindled that flame for me for evangelism. Um, and and when you have these things, I think it's important to steward them. You know, so you know we we'd be like, I got a gift of evangelism and I got a gift of prophecy and stuff like that. But the Bible says to put these things into practice. And I think having these classes like evangelism training and stuff, you really can put these things into practice and steward these gifts. And yeah. I'm really grateful because it created that that hunger for me again um, to go out and and evangelize and step out and step out because it's not easy. It's not easy. Man. I don't know if y'all. We're comfortable stepping out and all that stuff, but you got to do it regardless with, mm-hmm. you know, fear and faith, right. Yeah, you know, and mm-hmm. step out and, and see how far you're willing to go, um, you know, with these gifts. Amen. Amen. So, praise God. I, I believe, too, that that was that stepping out, what you said, stepping out. Even if just us as a church, right, as mm-hmm. a school of light, with... What God placed on on this ministry, on the heart of the um, the visionary of Moses and the the team, the scheme team, <laughs> um, was to was to come together, was to fellowship, and it wasn't to um, to stay in, you know. Mm-hmm. And with everything going on, you know, we question that, like, is it safe? Should we? I know we shouldn't get together, but should we? Mm-hmm. And we that was that that's what Z was talking about. That stepping out on faith, and I believe because we did that collectively. Mm-hmm. That's how the glory was able to fall, Amen. you know, stepping out on faith, 
and pushing past maybe what we think or any fear that we might have or what's going on in the world. Yeah. And and, and the Lord just released His glory. So. Mm -hmm. Did y'all get to check out the pictures from uh from this weekend? Yeah. Those pictures fire. is everything. Listen, Apostle Christian I, I think pictures. His Listen, why y'all fire? Fire. Why y'all had to put the the ugly on? No. No. The glory yeah. and yeah. the time. Apostle <laughs> Moses was like, this picture is epic. I was like, I need, I need to, I need to <laughs> make it. <laughs> Honestly, when I saw that post, that was the first picture I saw, yeah. and, and and automatically yeah. I was like, I got chills. You know, I that, that, picture, all that picture gave me chills, brother. That was okay. really beautiful. And if, you, if you haven't seen the picture, it was a beautiful ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best pictures. Yeah. Wow. Look, there yes. were the tears and the snotty noses and the. That was that. But look, if you, you haven't seen it. the picture, please go on to School of Light Church and find the picture, okay? <laughs> well, listen, can, can I testify for a second? Come on. Yes. Listen, come on. Come on. Testify. Come on and testify. Come on, we got. You better clap, no. <laughs> <laughs> I got the button there. AJ, what's well, up with the Apple uh, charger? Oh, you need it? Praise the Lord. You're my charger, brother. The great. But listen, let me Come testify. Let me oh, testify wait. I wasn't even charging anything. Yes, wait, testify. hold on, bro. What does it mean to testify? Testify. testify. What is a testimony? Because everybody yeah. don't know what that means. Testimony. What's the root word of testimony? What we learned this week? Test. Do it again. Do it again. What's Amen. the root word of testimony? Test. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's simply when a test come before you Hallelujah. and you pass it hey. in harmony. Come on, somebody. Testimony. <laughs> but listen, I was, you go, but listen, it's funny because I wasn't tested this week, but I surely was tested last week. What am I talking about? Remember I said this week was trying for me with the kids yeah. and I ain't had right. help and mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. But when that faith fire came Sunday, hey. he did a work in my house. Mm -hmm. Come on. He did a work in my kids. Yeah. Yeah. He did a work in my marriage. Yeah. 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 Listen. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Listen, wifey, I know you watching. Oh, oh, uh, what does that I don't know. I don't know, but hopefully we still rolling. But let's yeah, it's not in front of us. What that what I say, uh live audience? I can't read it from here. No, you want me? I'm looking at right, real up close and personal. Okay, praise God, that's my phone. There we go. Alright, we good? Yeah, we good. Alright, all right, we good. So listen, so God sent so much help this week. Emma ended up being home. She was able to help me with the kids. Amen. Did all the teachers call? They end up helping my son. <laughs> they was going to live with him. They listen, say, had no choice. <laughs> listen, he he's left. not getting it done. <laughs> and not, listen, and not only did they help him, but the parents wasn't there. Like she helped my son one on one and wow. helped him corporately Amen. and said they're willing to help him as much as he need. And I'm like, Amen. thank you, God. Like you don't really know how much this means to me. So listen, God hears your cries. He hears your prayers. Y'all hear he me? Heard you he crying out, brother. Like, I had a cry in me when I the okay. week falling. Okay. <laughs> but when listen. you told that teacher, listen, it ain't getting done. God said, oh, I got to step in. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help my yes. son out. <laughs> yes. Every teacher was willing to help. So Amen. That's Amen. my testimony. Amen. God sent help Amen. in a time of need. Amen. Amen. And it's usually in that time where you feel like, I ain't got nothing left in me, Lord. Yes. I need you to step in. Yeah. It was like a he who endured to the end type of testimony. Right. Amen. Amen. And then S Sunday. Yeah. Sunday was Sunday was awesome. I'm still speechless. Yes. Look, I was with the kids though. I was in school. I was in the Mighty Lions. Mighty the Lions. No, but the, Shout but out to the my crazy lions. Mighty Lions. There are there are our kids um, at um, Children's Church, and they're just such a blessing. Yeah. They really they really blessed me and all their energy. Hallelujah. <laughs> no, for real though. But one of my prayers that I prayed on um, for uh, Sunday was. Let there be, you know, sometimes we always separate the adults and the kids, Yeah. you know, like kids got children's church and adults got, you know, church, you know, adult church. But one of my prayers was like, God, let there be no separation from what they receive yeah. and what the kids receive, mm -hmm. you know, and I think we can all testify on Sunday, like how much, that thing was corporate. oh my gosh, it was so yeah. Yeah. Corporate, like every time we thought we was getting ready to do something in children's church, y'all would come in. 
Mm -hmm. the, bring the kids out here. The God wants the kids out here, and they just they were they were excited about yeah, well, it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they were really excited about it. And I think it's important to always include. The Listen, children, even, even the children got activated. Yeah. Yeah. Oh they were laying hands Kenise and praying was for healing. Praying for Matt. Mm -hmm. it was crazy. Mm -hmm. Glory was hitting every child. My Amen. gosh. Amen. <laughs> Listen, my daughter said this. She was like, the one person that cried, that person will only cry surely if God is there. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, Emily, you know God was there. Then. Amen. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're going to give some shout outs to everybody that's oh, watching. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So me, mom, will go first. Matt, you got, you got a phone. Christian, you got a phone, right? Okay. So shout out to Christina. 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 What's yeah. good? Shout out, Christina. Hi. Uh, shout out to Emma Cooley. A.K.A. Amanda Linda. That, that's. That's Andy Cooley's wife, Emma, 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 and shout out to Nicole Yancey Watson. Nick 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 what up, sis? Yes, amen. And everybody who uh, I just shouted out was there with us on Saturday and Sunday. Praise mm -hmm. God. All right, man, you're next. All right, we got Apostle Wise Preach. Shout out to Apostle Wise Preach. Wise oh. Preach. In the building. He said he ready. He said, listen, he ready to receive. <laughs> amen. Listen, you going to receive this light. Amen. Amen. Who all right, all right. That's all right. Brother Mo. Oh, of course. Brother Mo. Apostle. People online too. That's not even Chief. <laughs> what up, Chief? Yeah. Oh, amen. And everybody else. And everybody watching. else that's live. <laughs> Jamal, Jamal, how could I forget about you? Hey, Jamal. <laughs> Molly Mo. What up? Me, Mom, and Pop Pop. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to call you Pop Pop. Um, but no, amen. amen. So I'm going to give a shout out to. Uh, one of the greatest singers I know, Susan yeah. Hayes. What's going on? Susan. Hi, Susan. Much love to Karen Prather, uh, Dawn Smith Henry, mm -hmm. Bridget Satchel, my sister Jasmine, uh, Kiara, Sean Skinner, Curtis Stallings. Yo, yo Levi yo. Hall. Listen, man. That dude right there, we used to sing in Iraq together. We started a whole choir in Iraq. Really? Yeah, Come he was on. the choir director. Can you give us a snippet? Levi <laughs> Hall, right there. Look, look, don't, don't go yet. Can and uh, Christina Curley. Snippet? Can you give us a little snippet of what y'all would sing? We'll bring him in on the live next time. We'll, uh, <laughs> you did it! We'll assemble the choir and we'll, uh, <laughs> amen. <laughs> Shout out Uncle Shulia. Where's she got the people clap? All right, so what's up? Amen. Amen. So let's let's get into it. I, I really wanted to just kind of, you know, you <laughs> I know we were talking about it and everywhere that you turn, you know, you're hearing obviously about what's going on in the world. What's going uh, on? What is, going right. on? what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Life is good over here. I don't know. When I, when I opened my Bible, it said that I was I was living life a life more abundant. Mm, yeah. It, it said that he died so I could be set free. Listen, it said amen. I had peace. I, I, that's, that's, amen. That's all, that's what amen. I know. And that's exactly what we want y'all to know is that with all the stuff that's going on, we need to spread light. And we need to spread love. Wow. And the Bible says to combat evil with goodness. Yes. All right. We got to we got to combat evil with goodness, because if you feed your mind constantly, things that are fearful, things that are going to zap your energy, things that are going to cause anxiety and stuff. I had to remind myself, like, God, I want to feed myself good things like it's not about necessarily feeling it, but right. still declaring it because we don't mm -hmm. go off of our emotions because if we're led with our emotions, the Bible says we're going to be tossed like the wave yeah. to and from, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. you know, and, and I'm not going to say I'm perfect. And there have been times that my emotions have, you know, been front center. But I feel like this week God was saying, like, you got to you got to start speaking life and you got to start um, seeing the good and declaring yes. goodness uh, and, and and posting good things. Um, and even if you don't feel it, you have to we don't walk by sight we walk by faith faith, faith. Mm -hmm. and faith is the absence of things seen but the belief that you have it you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying mm -hmm. I, it's not i'm not quoting it correct like but you know what i mean mm -hmm. like you don't see it but you you believe in it yeah. and, and i think it's important to declare these words and declare positivity because yeah. you're planting seeds yeah. Amen. You said that, i was thinking about this is like 
when you was in school and they say, what do you see? And then a person say, well, I, it's half empty, you know? And yeah, then the other yeah. person says it's half, it's half full. full. So yeah. it's, it's all about your perspective. Perception. Amen. Your perception. Amen. Perception. Perspective? What did you say, sis? Perception. Oh, perception. Don't be a squirrel. <laughs> I'm sorry. Perception. Let me just let you be squirrely, man. My bad. Let me get my squirrel on. Yeah. Uh, a little up in here. No, you <laughs> Did you make a shirt that says squirrely? Listen, we're going to get this no, squirrely, we're gonna get it. We're gonna squirrely get it. shirt. Listen, I want soon. one. I want one. Thank you. Yes. Standing in line squirrely for a squirrely attire. shirt. Amen. Mm-hmm. And, and Emma's going to get the one that says nuts for squirrely. What is it? Squir- <laughs> Why? Well, I got it all it. wrong being me, mom, and stuff. Oh, <laughs> what was that, baby? Nuts for squirrels. <laughs> But, but amen. I mean, what what kind of things have you guys, you know, spoken over yourself this week? What kind of positive things have you, um, not just necessarily over yourself, but your kids? Um, you want to share some of the stuff that you know that you've been doing through the week? Amen. I had to I had to speak healing, mm-hmm. okay, over the whole house, me, the yeah. kids, and everything. That stuff wasn't feeling right all up in here. A little cough, cough, choo choo, you mm-hmm. know. But um. Hey Amen. I'm healed. I feel good. You know, my I was a little nasally up in here, but it's clearing out. The word of God is powerful, man. And yeah. over any sickness, any mm-hmm. disease, mm-hmm. any type of pain, listen, you be hearing us say it. I speak to that pain and tell it to leave. Like, mm. you can really do that. Yes. It's power in yes. your words and tell it to go. And it got to go. Yes. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' name, it got to go. So, we've been, I've been declaring healing over the family and over my house. And um, I feel better. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And um, I, I think as you were talking, I was saying, like, what's really helped me get through the week is the support system that I have around me. You know, I'm really grateful for the people that are in my life, like my brothers and sisters in Christ, my family, uh, my husband, my son. Like, I think having that, that, that support system is is really what's going to help us get through. You know, when, when, when we had Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, when we had the um, evangelism and, and church, like God was showing us all these miracles and all these healings and stuff, mm-hmm. but he wasn't showing it to one person. He showed it to all of us together. Yeah, we you witness. Know? We witness. And, and that togetherness shouldn't just be on Sundays, like when you at church or you watching church on live, like reach out to your brothers and sisters, set up these text message groups, set up these um, chat groups, set up uh, phone conferences with each other because the Lord says when two or three are together, he's yes. in the midst. Yes, yes. Right. And, and the I'm not going to give no glorification to the enemy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I'm saying like the Bible says that when you have idle time, when you have all that space and that free time, mm-hmm. which is a lot of what we have going on. Yes. He has a way of planting these things in your mind. Right. Mm-hmm. So I think setting up that 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 um, support system is mm-hmm. really what's helped a lot of us just yeah. stay encouraged. Sure. I'm not going to be here and be like, yeah, I'm holy and sanctified and I've done it on my own and blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Not, not blah, blah, blah. But you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. sometimes we'd be like, I did it. I did it. I did it. I got through. But I really have to. Really thank God for you, Matt, for you, Christian, for you, Khalid, for you, Kita Keats, that's in the background, for my husband. Because that support system is is important. And I'm not going to keep on rambling, but praise God. Like, if you out there listening, like, if you feel like you battling this thing on your own, number one, you got Jesus, you got the Holy Spirit, you got Father, um, Abba. But set up the, the, the... the network that he's giving you don't don't just tune in on on sundays to watch these the facebook live and then you lose all connection during the week right. you got brothers right. and sisters out there that care about you and amen. and 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 two and three is stronger than and than one you know we a body amen, amen. amen. and for amen. those who feel like they've been doing strong and you've been holding it down standing on the word which is a blessing um the bible says love your neighbors or love others should i say as you love yourself so you know, just as you have all that strength and you, you got enough food in your house and everything like that is good, reach out to somebody. See how somebody else is doing. See how your family doing, your mom, your sister, your distance cousin, you know, yeah. even like your physical neighbors, like knock on the door. How you doing? Is everything all right? Because 
that's how you can do exactly what God is calling you to do. Just Amen. because churches is shut down and you was called to the nations, now you in the house and you ain't Amen. and you, you know what I'm saying? You literally can't even go to the nations nation. right now. Yeah. You can still do what God is calling you to do. You get what I'm saying? And even that new believer, you can still move by faith and just, you know, reaching out, like she said, through a text message, through a cell phone call, even through a post, however that may look. So Amen. continue to be encouraged. But what about you, brother? Be that light. What do you feel like you've been doing this week? Man, you see this? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm, um, Amen. You know, I just had, Sunday was, uh. Sunday was very enlightening for me, wow. mm -hmm. um, and it really put me in a position of rest. Wow. Um, and what I mean by that is just having um, a certain atmosphere of peace, mm. you know, um, doing the day to day. You know, we always say, you know, not to worry and stuff like that, but naturally you worry about things, you know, yeah. naturally because yeah. you're trying to do everything and mm -hmm. there's not enough time in a day and people tell me all the time because i've always been like dang man i wish you, you know the days were longer maybe like you still wouldn't be enough time to hours, do <laughs> because you will find some way to fill up the rest of those hours you know um but it, it put me in a place of rest to where naturally and spiritually so I, i've just been resting Hallelujah. i've been resting in god's mm -hmm. presence i've been doing projects around the house and Amen. just just in peace like not worried mm -hmm. about anything not caring about anything you know just not moved by nothing yeah. like Amen. it's just been it's, it's been nice you know and i had family here so it was you know it was nice just to spend quality time with my sister and my nephews they were up here from florida mm -hmm. um my children you know mm -hmm. and it, it's just been it's just been a blessing Amen. it's really been a blessing Amen. Hold up. Speaking of um, projects, mm. this is a project he was working on right here. The Light Listen. Talk wow. Podcast Room. You see, he got it. It's a little different from the last one, but this thing is fire. I, I wish y'all could do a spin around. around. Right. Yeah. 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 We got to get y'all a spin Woo. around at the end. He got the studio over here. This <laughs> joint is crazy. Amen. So. Amen. I think it'd be really cool to get some some bright light like on graffiti in here, right? <laughs> you got graffiti artists? No, I'm just kidding. But um, one thing I... I okay, this is going to sound really mm -hmm. funny. But one thing that's really um, that I've been doing a lot this week too. Do you guys like watch um, like memes? Like me, me. Am I saying right? Memes. memes. Like the little pictures. You're saying it right, me. Yeah. <laughs> is it it's called, memes, is it called like memes? Like memes. Like memes or memes? Memes like Mima. Like memes. 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 Look. Like the memes and the gifts. Oh my God. Are they're, hilarious. They're so funny. Said, like, the you know, the Bible okay. says that, um, that a cheerful heart is good medicine. medicine. Right? <laughs> a cheerful heart is good medicine. You said it right, sis. <laughs> That's just different. Oh, something like that. There, right? Medicine. <laughs> <laughs> in English, poor, poor, poor. <laughs> Can somebody chime See. in? Did I say it right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, right. And, and that is Proverbs um, 17, I think. Yes. Key to Keats, you want to give us a confirmation? Is it Proverbs I, 17? I, she, I'm glad she acting like she's not here. <laughs> Every time here. you say something, she like... But no, it, you know, it talks about that. And I think it's so like these memes crack me up. Some of them do be so, super so funny. So funny and gifts. Gifts, but also, um, you know, follow Kev on stage. Do you guys ever follow him? Yeah, yeah. he's, he's like, share his he's post a... like three minutes ago before we <laughs> started. Yeah, that's confirmation. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> some of his stuff is so, <laughs> some of his stuff is so funny, and it's really helped me get through. Like in yes. the, in um, you know, at nighttime when things are winding down, I'll turn him on, and Jamal that's will so just wild. be like, "What is he? What is she doing? Like, I'm cracking up. I'm laughing." Like it's okay to laugh it's, listen, during this time. It's good to laugh. It's yeah, good it's needed. to laugh. It's needed. Did y'all see? Hold on. Did you see his last post? Which one? It was about the Cheesecake Factory. No. <laughs> wait, wait. Listen, he just posted that. So when we log off here, please watch that. But I got to tell y'all what it said. So the headlines was uh, the Cheesecake Factory said they not paying their mortgage this month <laughs> because they ain't selling no cheesecake. <laughs> I said, listen, I'm with you. Like, Are you serious? Yes. They they really wrote a petition. They said they're not paying their bills this month. No landlord, nothing. 
I mean, it's only right if <laughs> everything... He made a joke out of it. But. Everything's shutting down. The jobs, people not working. It's only right. I mean, to go with the flow, it should be mandated. It should be mandatory. You know yeah. that everything's shutting down. Everybody's not working. So how can you expect? You feel yes. me? I wonder the how many people are going to use that, that excuse this, this month, I've too. seen some people who have, who have landlords, they were, like, taking, like, $20 off. <laughs> 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 they was like, like, you getting a discount? They're waving fees, processing fees. Late Look, late fees. fees. <laughs> They're going to get a late fee this month. Listen, whatever you can. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. oh, yeah, the girl was like, "Yeah, I was so excited, like, oh, we gonna get a percentage off, like, this is so good." That girl said twenty dollars. What is that like? One percent off, like? You rent twelve hundred, you get twenty dollars <laughs> off, like. Then you will take this twenty dollars. Oh my Cheesy god! Cheesecake Factory don't know what they started. That is so. It's only right though. I think. Come on, go ahead, stand up, uh, Cheesecake Factory. Shout no, out they, to Cheesecake they, they, Factory. They're talking about for New Jersey. That's what. That's one of the bills they're working on now is to pass um to excuse uh, mortgages for ninety days. But you know, I, I just pray that the American people still do right. If you got it, mm-hmm. still pay your bill. Amen. Amen. If you got it, still pay your bill. We need a nickname. Don't be trying. You. Like, who first? <laughs> Christian? Christian. The no. upright apostle. <laughs> the upright one. No, because you the know why? Because one. some people, when it comes to situations like that, some people take advantage of it. Nah, that's true. true. And that's they put true. other people in bad positions. That's and then the ones who need it, then you end up messing them up. Yeah. And then now they can't use it or take advantage of it. Amen. Because you everybody done abused it before you. So listen, listen to Christian, the AKA man servant, AKA Apostle. You, pay you your bills. Pay your bills. Pay your bills. Hey, that's what let me say. He just helped y'all out, right? Because when we get when y'all get this good old stimulus, <laughs> baby that coin, you ain't gotta use all your bills. You can splurge a little. <laughs> Did, it, did that joint get passed? Because I heard yes, it passed. Yes, it's Listen. official. The stimulus. Check the mailbox. The stimulus. Yeah, the I think, I think stimulus. <laughs> Check the mailbox and direct deposits coming to you soon. I was, I think it's $1,200. $1, you sound like you're speaking for the government. You got some insights. But, but meanwhile, soon, but, but meanwhile that. Did, you, did you do your census yet? <laughs> yes. No, you didn't. You don't even know what the census is. <laughs> Actually, I did. I don't even know what you did. I don't even know how did a census. Like, they sent it to you in the mail. Did you fill it out? Yes. You mailed it back? My mother did. <laughs> it's still <laughs> sitting on the nightstand. <laughs> what is the census? What is that? Oh, Jesus. Come on. Come on. You don't know me like that, bro. We I'm going to mail it tomorrow. What's the, what's the census? That don't make no sense. <laughs> Jamal, we got our census, right? Oh, man. Um, you don't even know. I think, we, yeah, we got our census. You can do it online. I think we got in the mail, but they only sent it to Jamal. Oh, it's only sent it to Jamal. Is it per household? Yeah. So explain the census to us. Please. So that's when you. Because Matthew looks really lost. That's when you talk about. Don't make no sense. That's your <laughs> opportunity to petition things to the government as far as. Things that you feel are good, mm-hmm. things that are bad, things that need to change, things that you might see mm-hmm. can change this way or that way or what have you. That's your that's your opportunity to have a voice. Mm. Oh, I thought it was just a count. Lord. <laughs> they count. just counting people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, like you No, I think that, that contributes to it so they can get a, a total yeah, no, population. They, they, yeah, they keep track that way too. But okay. Yeah, okay. but... Um, right, you know, like that. So what would you put in your census? What Wait, kind of thing, Yeah, what kind of things would you want to see changed? Ah. Or that person. Oh, oh, yeah. that's personal. That's personal. Yeah, we don't even have no time on this <laughs> one. <laughs> Christian, uh, let me break out my list. The squirrely <laughs> neighbors up out of here. <laughs> but, trying to um, kick them squirrely neighbors out. No, he loves his neighbors. <laughs> um, but no, I'm saying like also some it's something else household. too. Um, this week was worship music. Y'all love worship music. Yes. Look, real quiet. Look. <laughs> I like turn up worship. I like turn up worship. Every now and then, you know, what's, I sit back. Listen, can you put some turn up worship? Listen, some can you put some turn up I like, uh, I like, like, I like, I like Bizzle. I like Kid Lays. I like hey, Zonzi. I like hey. Haas. You feel me? Like, I, I, HP. I like the, I like the turn up for Christ. Like, what's his name? Dayton. I like hey. him. Cause Kalia pulled up. I'm still waiting on her. Oh, wait, look, you meant it. Carlos Wego. Oh, I love that song. 
No, yeah, I, I, I like a, a little, give me that little worship. A little this right? with my beat, with my worship. You little bop you know, in your worship. Yeah, a little put some bop in my worship, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Man, you keep cutting the music short. <laughs> Hold on, I had to sit on the speaker. We ain't got to get tired. Stop messing with the center, man. I got the wonderful love of the blessed redeemer. I got the joy, 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 joy. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay, okay.
Yo, I do was hi, and they go Which all night. That? That's the, that's the song right there. Nah, nah. She just made that up. Yeah. You just <laughs> did that. <laughs> She holds up. Nah. She holds up. You are the most high. Y'all never heard that song. You um, are the most high God. No. No, I heard that. Accent. I sing that on Sunday though. <laughs> In that accent. <laughs> What's up? They got that? They go in. What's your favorite Emma, worship song? Emma, add that to the worship lineup. You are the most high. Yes, you too. With the choreography. <laughs> You are the most high. You are the most high, God. They be like, Jehovah, you are the most high. This is Elijah um, from Africa. I'm not going to say his last name. Oh, yeah, no. I can't pronounce it. See, amen. Look, I like that song, Kalia. I think you should run with it. What? You are the most high. I so stole that song. It's a real song. No, that ain't the guy I was talking about. Amen. That's somebody else. No, amen. It's not hype enough. Yeah, we need we need a hyper joint. Where my hype girl at? Emma, Emma, you always understand the turnout. <laughs> um, somebody else said. Put on God oh, you know Christian. what? I love that song. So glory to the, the Lamb. Glory to the Lamb. No, not that, that one. one. No. Glory to the Lamb. Glory. That's um. That's um. <laughs> But why is she making that face go, like that? Go, Godfrey or Gofrey? Glory. Gofrey. No, I was, was that your, was that your choir? <laughs> no, I was really focused. Uh, you was. You were showing how you <laughs> felt. Glory. Who's it? Yes, like this. Oh, right? like these. Is that hydration? Afro? Yes. Yes, that's my song. Oh, this that every day, every day when I wake up in the morning, I. This is worship. Where do you get that accent from? Oh, oh squirrel, little baby. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> every day when I wake up in the morning, I. I Where is that? 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 Listen, y'all, she, she still needs deliverance. She, but she's twerking for Jesus. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I just really, I really praise God for you. So, I want to talk about um, a scripture that God placed on my heart. Look, hear me, Mom, bringing it back, right? Come on, me, Mom. So, Get back. Um, this morning, I was, um, a scripture came to mind. Not morning, afternoon. Because um, you got to be specific. Amen. Mark 12, 41 to 44. Do you want it to send somebody? What is that? that Mark up? 12? Mark 12, 41 to 44. And it's about the um the widow, right? Mm-hmm. The widow's offering. Wow. Um about how, like in, in the word it talks about um Jesus was watching all these people give like offerings mm-hmm. and stuff. And there were like rich people who were giving offerings. Yes. And then there was this woman who had only like I guess you would say two pennies or two copper coins. So we'll mm-hmm. say it was like two yeah. pennies, right? And she gave this was like her last two pennies that she gave, right? Mm-hmm. And Jesus called the disciples, right? He was like, yo, like I want y'all to see this. I guess it, it wasn't really like that, like yo come. I'm just kind of you know, so he was saying like this woman who gave these two coins like he noticed that from this woman like yeah. every all these rich people giving all this money mm-hmm. but this woman had two coins and she put it on in the offering box and Jesus noticed that and he told the disciple like this is this right here I like this I like that this is this was she gave out of the abundance of her heart yeah. not of the abundance yeah. of all the stuff that you had but they gave her the abundance of her heart she gave yeah. us two pennies so I guess basically what I was saying like I was like all right Lord like why are you showing me this scripture right like why are you showing me this and it's just encouragement for all of us like some of us might be on um our last like mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like it, it could be like our last two coins some of us really it's like our last financially because we got bills to pay you know people got um kids to take care of food mouths to feeds and stuff like that yeah and god was saying like 
you might not have all this stuff, but if you just got like these two pennies, if you just got your last dime, put it, put it in the, in the, not to say a physical offering box because Jesus now is, we, we give it to him. So I felt like he was saying like, if you want your last, like give it to me, give it to Absolutely. me and I, I receive it. Amen. And out of the abundance of your heart, if you trust him with it, he's going to overflow it. Yeah. You know what I feel like that? Yeah. yeah. Like that was encouragement for me because he wasn't just talking about bills. He was even saying like some people are on their last worship. Some mm -hmm. people on their last praise. Some mm -hmm. people on their last like joy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, and and I feel like if you you got this last feeling in you, mm -hmm. like put it in the hands of God and see what He does. Because there's been so many times I feel like God, I'm on my last leg right now. Mm -hmm. Like and like Brother Matt was just sharing. You know, he felt like he was <coughs> on the last with the kids, and yes. God stepped in. Amen. You know, yeah. so that scripture really was encouragement for me. Um, you what know, is it? What scripture was it? Mark, Mark, Mark 12, 12, 41, 41, 41 44, 44. 44. Um, you know, and I feel like God really receives that. Like, you know, you might be on your last, but give it to him. And he going to, he going to multiply it and he going to notice it. And like out of your heart, like you're saying, Lord, like this is all <clears throat> I've got. And I know we're not trying to get real heavy and stuff because this is light talk. We love light talk. But you got to talk about real things. Like yeah, some absolutely. people, you know what I'm saying? Like people on their, their last. There have been times where I felt like I've been on my last. Right, like, right. Lord, how am I going to get yes. through? God, how am I going to do this? And I just put it in his hands. And out of that abundance of saying, you know what, God, I trust you. I trust you. I'm going to put it in your hands. And he always He always comes through because he's faithful. Amen. 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 Me, Mom, about that church. <laughs> church. <laughs> Amen. 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 Thank you Amen. for sharing that. Yeah, of course. Amen. So, praise God. Any any of y'all have any questions? What are y'all doing right now? Anyone? Anyone? Praise God. Shout out to iAsia who's watching. Hey, Kenny. Kenny Robles just jumped in. Ken, Kenny the... Kenny the electrician, yo. Kenny, Kenny what's up? The electrician, the yeah. barber, what's good, the mechanic. Kenny? Listen. Holding it down. Kenny, you gonna come have to lay hands. The builder. Kenny, the whole elder of the church, to say go to the. They're not as financially stable as they I was before sure. everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. But God is really testing you to see what are you doing at such a time as this. Are you gonna store up mad stuff for yourself? Are you gonna try to take the little bit you have and and you know try to save it and hoard it and hide it and hold on tight to it? Or are you gonna be able to put it in His hands like we see with the uh, the fish and the loaves? You know, with the little bit you have. If if you put it in his hands, then obviously he can multiply it. Amen. And not even just him. You might only have a little bit, but you trust God that he could provide for you. But your neighbors, they don't. It might be more sufficient for you to give to the person that doesn't have enough faith like you. Mm -hmm. Because you believe God is going to supply and God is going to give you all your needs according to his riches and glory. So we, we got to continually not be so stingy and tight in a season like this. Amen. Because when you read this scripture, God was looking at the person who had least. It's, it's not about the amount. It was a lot because she didn't have much and gave exactly what she had. That's why you can't judge somebody else according to what they give. You got, you know, not saying you guys, but sometimes we could praise the person that give a thousand dollars to the church, but you don't know that they're a millionaire. And then somebody else, they're giving ten dollars to the church. And all they had was $20 to their name for the mm -hmm. week. So, you know, we could look at the outward appearance, but it's God that's judging your heart. God is judging your sacrifice. And not only is he judging it, but he is pleased with that. It takes mm -hmm. a lot of trust to do something like that. Yeah. Amen. And, you know, I feel like that really kind of, as you were talking, um, you know, on fa and bless you, on, mm -hmm. on Facebook and stuff, it's so easy for us to be like, this church not doing this and that church not doing that. And mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But... Um, I feel like you don't know people's secret time with God. Yeah. You don't know what like what they're going through. You don't know what a church is going through. You don't know what a church has been warring with. Like you don't know what a church has been contending with. Like there's people out here like really fighting the good fight of faith and love, not for themselves, not for selfishness um, sake. But because they love God and they love other people and they're contending for the righteousness of God. Like, so I think it's easy. Like, like, I wonder how these rich people were looking at this woman. 
Mm-hmm. Like they were like, yo, dad, I gave a thousand, you know, I gave ten thousand, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But she giving two pennies, like what is that, you know? And I thought about that. I'm like, wow, like she giving her all, and how are other people viewing her? But in the eyes of Jesus, he was like, I received that. So I think it's important, like during this time, to like to not be so quick to judge. You know, man, like what you were yeah, saying, absolutely. like being quick to judge, like you don't know people's personal battles. You don't know what people are going through personally and stuff like that. You only see the outward appearance, but this could be the same person in the end. Like, look, me mom getting deep, but you know what I'm saying? But in the end, like, God, this is all I have left. And, you know, you might be judging them, but that's all they have to give. And God and God honors that. So, so, amen. Amen. So there's, there's two things, though. Um. That y'all touched on. I don't even think y'all realize what you were saying. But you're teaching about sacrifice. And you're teaching about being a cheerful giver. Because you can give a thousand. But if you're just giving a thousand. Because I'm just giving a thousand. And it's not from your heart. Yeah. That's just trash. God don't even mean you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, honestly like keep it. You know. But yeah. the fact that she gave her last. And she gave it without hesitation. Mm-hmm. Hesitation. She gave it with joy in her heart she gave it with peace there was no concern there was no you know what i mean Mm -hmm. because again just naturally you know how many of us really sit and and we try to balance Mm -hmm. and rob peter to pay paul and you know look at this bill and that bill and be like all right well i'm gonna pay this one i'm not gonna pay this one till Mm -hmm. next month or you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. and then even when it comes to even church and our offering like God, all right, you know my heart. I really want to get this 20, mm-hmm. but I need gas in the car. Yeah. So I'm going to just get this 10. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But where is your faith? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Is your faith lining up with what you're giving? Amen. Yeah, you know, and, and, and that's that's what is key, especially in times like this. You know, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You said it earlier. Amen. Yeah, and, and it really takes for you to have a mindset of yo I'm I'm going to give and I'm just going to give and not with an expectation you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying mm-hmm. you know cuz some people be like well I'm going to give but God I need you to provide no mm-hmm. just give yeah mm-hmm. we already know God to be a provider you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah. so you you don't need to tell him, tell that. him. he already he already is Jehovah Jireh that's who he is mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But to just give and to give freely, that's what God honors. And Amen. that's what he'll bless. Amen. That's what he'll multiply. Amen. Because of the fact that you just gave. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Because of the fact that you gave without a thought. Hmm. You gave without a hesitation. You gave, you know, with a sacrifice. You Amen. know, with joy in your heart. Like, Lord, this it's, is all I got. But so I'm giving it back give. to you. Everybody you know go saying? give. Come on, cash app, cash app, you It sounds like we about to take an offer, right? <laughs> and, 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 and speaking of giving, if give. you look on the bottom of your screen, there's three ways to give. To give, cash app, give a fly. No, <laughs> that's R O Y K L. Amen. Cloth. So let's cash app. Y'all know we've been in quarantine. We've been in the crib, and one thing I noticed about. You know, being quote unquote trapped somewhere, being confined, like creativity start to be birthed, right? You yeah. start thinking of things you would have never shift. thought of. Like, so Come let me on. ask you guys: Have y'all did anything creative? Cooked anything creative? Was your mind thinking anything creative during this time? Like, <laughs> you know, like I said, for me, um, you know, this room, sure. mm-hmm. I was determined, yeah, to get this done, and and for me, it was like. Like, I had paid different people to come out and do different things or whatever. And it was like I was being lazy, and mm-hmm. then I just didn't want to do it. And then it was like, when it comes to your own, you just want stuff done right. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, you know, I'm going to just pay this person, pay that person, just out of love. Um, and then just stuff just wasn't <laughs> settling after a while. And then I was just like, I'm going to do this. Amen. Amen. I'm going to just do this. And the Holy Spirit was like, yo, call, call this person and get on YouTube. And mm-hmm. surely, like... And here we are, done. Wow. Wow. And it's awesome. And I've been pictures? working on this for almost a year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got before pictures? And got it done in like three days. Oh, Amen. It's crazy. These some before and after pictures. Yeah. Did you, did you I get before and after? No, I didn't. Oh. I didn't. I didn't. Come on. 
Come on, I want to see right what one. you had to go through. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, but it, it was it was a it was it was faith. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It really took an activation of faith, like. Yo, I'm, I'm going to get this done because my mindset was I need this done by Friday for the podcast. That was my focus. Amen. It was like, yo, the podcast Instead is moving. Goal. We need more space. Yeah, we need sure. to enhance it. We need to do better. So this is what we're going to do and we're going to get it done. Amen. Mm-hmm. Can we shout out to the man servant? Yes. Come on, brother Chris. Yeah. Come on, brother Chris. Yeah. He be coming through. The beloved be coming through. Like, what we got to get done. He does. And let's get it done. So, amen. You. Amen. Um, I feel like I've started these um marriage chronicle videos. <laughs> yeah. Rubbing my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal be like Yo, Jamal's I, face. Babe, don't you see I'm red? <laughs> <laughs> and she's gonna be like, let the thunder rumble <laughs> on his toes. Yeah, oh my yeah. God. like that just kind of came out of nowhere. See, they're like, hilarious. Hey, man, I think we're just gonna. If you haven't watched Marriage Chronicle videos, um, they're not really posted anywhere but a separate chat room. But they're kind of like little snippets of what she my about husband. to add them to her Facebook now that she's on. I'm gonna like, share one. I'm we gonna will share show it. her how to post it for y'all to see. <laughs> I got you, Mom. I got you. Don't worry. Look, I'm not dead Facebook illiterate. <laughs> but I'm still learning. No, for real, though. Jamal laughing. Molly yeah, Moore. Look, like, so I would say the Marriage Chronicle videos have really been something creative that we're doing. I don't think Jamal's really all for it, but I don't <laughs> really care. Listen, can I, can I make a request? Yeah. Can I see a Zaquisha and Molly Moore? I don't know what you call him. Uh, Jaimal. Jaimal. As the Quisha and Jaimal episode. Uh, can, uh, I need to see that. Never, never, like, look, so Jamal says whenever I wear these earrings, <laughs> I turn into Zaquisha. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> 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 he's like, wretched, wretched, wretched. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who Zaquisha is. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, you, yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> Zaquisha just came out real quick. I, I don't know what he's talking about. So th- that for me oh, has wow. been those Marriage Chronicle videos. Wow. Listen, shout out to Wise Preach. He said he's been cooking like crazy. He Amen. said he's been he cooking fish tonight. He got a lot going hey, on. Listen, oh, yeah, save your boy good. some. Can I, can I share about how I had to move creatively in my faith? Come on. So, Come on, you know, as we are the media team, I'm on my laptop being squirrely with my <laughs> squirrely gadgets. I popped my um, my hard drive in and I goes to connect it and my hard drive literally died. And I'm like, oh, man. oh my gosh. And the enemy really be attacking me through like my, my, um, my hardware. Yeah. Like three Technology. things of mine's broke, literally transferring files for the ministry, like doing ministry stuff. My laptop literally just broke, Trans- saving wow. files for the ministry. Yeah. Wow. So I'm like, not again. Like, you get what I'm saying? It's nothing open. No uh, computer stores open. I looked at my hard drive, and you know what the Holy Spirit said? Lay hands and they'll recover. Like, listen. Come on. Listen. Hey, hey, hey. My hard it. drive died. I connected to all my computers. It didn't work. I'm like, God, I literally just got this hard drive. Literally. Them joints be like $100 a hard drive. Yeah. I laid my hands on come it on, and said, on. listen. You come alive in Jesus' name. Yeah. I was Hallelujah. like, I was like, life. <laughs> listen, I lay hands on it, plugged it in, didn't come on. God said, listen, I could do it. Lay hands on it, put it on my downstairs computer. It didn't want to turn on. I said, oh, you rebellious device, you. <laughs> I bind I the really in you. Jesus' name. I said, I said this you was... You rich class spirit, it don't go I said, I said, listen, this is what we gonna do now. This is what we gonna do. Cause I ain't finna be wrestling no demons in my night. Listen, I said, listen. In the name of Jesus, Jesus come on when now. I wake up, come on. you will come alive. All my files is going to be on here, and you're going to work at 100% in Jesus' yes. name. Come on. When I wake up, walk the way, look back, and I ain't playing. <laughs> I woke up in the morning. I said, let me check this hard drive. I look, everything was on it. Yes. 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 To the glory. And on my laptop. All my files was there. I said, thank you, God. Hallelujah. And, listen, and if you could do it for a heart, for computers and wires... How much more okay. for an actual person Come on. you love? Come, yeah. on. Come on. Listen, Come on, we man. laughing, 
But it's serious. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, real. Yeah. Like, it may come off as silly, right? Like, he laid hands on his computer and it came to life. <laughs> like, you feel me? But but it's okay, though. Because the Bible talks about coming like a child, right? Yeah. So something that that may seem silly is God sees something different, you know? It's like a level of humility and coming like a child. Like, listen, yeah, lay your hands on your phone. Lay your hands on your computer. It's nothing he can't do. Right. Yes. And, and, and and it's working. Like, this stuff, is, it goes down and really happens. Amen. Thank you for sharing that, man. Amen. That is so Come true, on. man. Y'all better lay hands out listen, there. Listen, we got another praise report in the comments. Wise preach comment. He said, listen... I lost 14 pounds from just cooking and not eating out. Amen. So somebody God. catch that. Amen. Because your boy been it. in the house eating like never before. <laughs> they got a meme out. It was like day one quarantine and day 30. Like, <laughs> I was like, Lord, don't let that be my portion. God, please. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Wise Preach, man. Um, we Amen, celebrated brother. On the journey and uh, 14 keep, pounds. Yes, yes. Keep go and be healthy, encourage the same. That's amazing. I, I received was, all 14. Like, look, yes. I, I was just we were, I was talking to my mom yesterday, and she said, um, that they had drove past um, Texas Roadhouse, mm -hmm. and Texas Roadhouse was packed. She wow. said, I was like, were people inside? She said, no, everybody was waiting for curbside to go. I said, amen mm -hmm. for supporting small businesses. But I said, D did anybody cook? <laughs> but, that, but Jamal was like, babe, you don't even cook like that. I was like, amen. <laughs> you know? But I really feel like being in quarantine has really helped me cook more and cook better. Praise God. Um, you know, I was just talking to Jamal about that, too. I said, babe, you look like you lost weight. And he was like, no, not really. It made him really happy. <laughs> but I agree. Eating in, eating in, you get to cook more. You get to eat um, food at home more and you're losing weight. Maybe I should step on a scale too, wise <laughs> preach. See how much weight I've lost. Praise God. But um, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 What are you looking like on time? How long have we been on, fam? Amen. Oh, uh, 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 oh, we're we we about to go for another hour. No, no. <laughs> How long have you been on for an hour? Yeah. All right, I think that was about it. Y'all mm -hmm. feel complete? Audience, do you feel a completeness in this? Do you guys have any questions? Anything that you want to ask us? It doesn't even have to be related to what we're talking about. Any personal, yes. not personal, personal, but any questions you might have for Matt or yes. Christian or Kalia or uh, Marquita in the background. Who's not here, but she is. Come on, Marky, come say Can you just say hi with yeah. this with this promise um zip up? Oh, yes. I think it's so cute. Can you come run on. in real quick? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I can't. Shout out to the audience though. <laughs> we appreciate you. Holding it down in the Amen. background. Any questions? Oh, what up, Jasmine? Any Jasmine. questions, comments, concerns before we close out. Amen. Oh, Play Jasmine, it was just her birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to Jasmine. Happy, happy birthday, 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 Jasmine. Amen. She was, she was Amen. slaying with them boots. I see you in them boots. Listen, I wish I could walk in here by Jasmine. <laughs> What's up with the body suit, sis? Hold she on, said we, she got, got body suits and t-shirts coming out. We have our first question. <laughs> During this time of social distancing, how do we love our neighbor from afar? Ooh, good question. You better, you better send over some care packages <laughs> <laughs> and put from him. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, you can send it to my house, 48 camp. It's like, no, I think that's a really good question. I think number one is reaching out to people. I'm big about reaching out to people, whether you're a texter. Whether you're a phone caller, whether you're a FaceTimer, reach out to people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Call mm -hmm. somebody. Um, you know, don't... Uh, exactly. Call somebody. Text somebody. Reach out to somebody. Um, and whatever God is speaking to you about, don't just maybe hold it to yourself. Like, tell other people that might be encouraged um, by it as well. So, amen. I would say that. I would say, I mean, um, Mark... <laughs> You do like the, the the care packages and stuff like that, right? Like the little gifties. I mean, you might can just drop them off a couple She's steps. Not here. But she is. <laughs> but she is. Okay, so let me look at my phone. Marquita, Mark, how? Ask the question. Um, so I would say, um, you know, 
Let me act like I don't know you. Kita, you do, you got gifts. You could give out some gifts and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Just drop them maybe um, on a porch or something like that. You never know who could use it or who could benefit from it and still keep your distance. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Amen. Amen. Matt, Christian. Yeah. Hold on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm I'm with, with what you said. Right. Me? Um, Mima. Yeah. Mima. Okay. Just, Mima. Just, um <laughs> Yo, it's simple. I'm I'm just thinking about you, you know. Um it, it goes far. Especially in a time like this, you know, it goes far. Um and they maybe ask if they need something if if you have something to offer. You know? Amen. 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 But just to tell them you're thinking about them. Do you think you can answer that question that was just posted? All right, let me read that out, <laughs> out loud for uh, people. And this is good. So let me read it and I'm going to... Uh, all right, let's get it. He said, I have one question. Is it safe to find a wife during this pandemic or should I wait till next year to begin my search. Them so hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Look, so before we say that, before we say that, <laughs> you know, shout out to the single people. You know, I am married, by the way. But shout out to those, you know, who are still in search and in pursuit. And, you know, for you guys, we have the um, singles podcast coming soon. They're going to speak directly to y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm excited hey. about it. But I'm encouraging shout out people. In a prayer? Yes, sir. <laughs> but anyway, all right, listen. So how do we answer the question? I think y'all got that. What? Go ahead, guys. Is it safe to find a wife during this pandemic, or should I wait to next year to begin my search? Christian? <laughs> but how do you find? How are you going to find the you wife? You got Christian though? Mingle. Don't they got a... Oh, show? man. They got, they no, got something did. called uh, what, Plenty of Fish or something like that. <laughs> oh, oh, no, glad no, you no. married. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to... He's he trying to... He's trying to... Get out. They still got my space out there. For my <laughs> Matthew! Hold on, hold on. First of all, you can't even. How are you going to find some, fish? How are you going to find somebody physically? Like, churches is shutting down. That's what he wanted to know. Well, well nah. He but maybe this might be. How, the malls is shutting down. It's no. nowhere. You will have to pursue virtually. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I no. think they're telling you to wait, wise. No, I'm not even Just saying wait, that. Just wait, bruh. Yo, he who finds a wife finds up a good thing. I think I think now is the perfect time. And this is why I say it. Um, you have nothing but time right now. Mm-hmm. You have nothing but time to develop an intimate relationship with God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen. First, and, amen. And put your list together of what it is that you're looking for. Amen. You have nothing but time with yourself so mm-hmm. you can identify things about yourself things that you might not like mm-hmm. things that you might want to change um wow yo nah I, I think i think now is i would say now is is let's let's say we break it down in phases and steps so this is this is phase one preparation phase mm. so take the time to prepare yourself mm. um what it is that you're looking for